everybody. Welcome to the set of the 3100 series of Love of Quilting. I'm Sarah Gallegos, and every time that we're working on these videos, it seems like we always have something more we want to share with you that we can't get to in the episode. So we love doing these web extras. And in this one, I want to talk to you a little bit about the design walls that you see here on set. We've got several of them. This here is kind of a medium-sized design wall, which is great for displaying quilts, especially if it's maybe the guest quilt and it's bigger and we need to lay it out. We can refer to it, and it's a nice workable size. Then, of course, we've got a little bit smaller one that you've probably noticed that we walk back to on, from time to time on the episodes. And this is a little bit smaller and nice if we just want to kind of lay out a few blocks, maybe start to show you how we're putting together a border, gives us a little smaller, more manageable size. But then sometimes we have really big quilts from guests. And over here we have one of Mary Ann's quilts that happens to be 108 inches square. It's a really big quilt. So we've got this extra large design wall that we can actually adjust the height on to be able to display these gigantic quilts. Now, if you're working at home and need a design surface, there are some really nice things that you can do right in your own home. First, we've got the quilt block assembly easel. And this is really nice because, again, it's an easel style, so it props right up. And I can set that right behind my sewing machine to kind of see what my block is supposed to look like as I'm putting it together. And what I also like about it is that it's got a textured surface so that we can very easily place our fabrics right onto the easel and they stick in place. So if you want to just kind of audition different fabric placement, you can pull those right off, put in a new piece, and just kind of play with what different fabrics would look like in the different elements of your block without having to sew an entire block together. So I love when we can kind of play puzzle pieces with a quilt block, block like this. This is a collection from Paintbrush Studios that I actually used in a little different way for a quilt that I got to show on set with my friend Denise. So again, this is a little bit smaller sized easel. And another nice thing about this, you can lay it flat and you can transport it without your fabric pieces falling off. A lot of times when we're sewing at home, we aren't necessarily in quite as compact an area, right? Sometimes we've got our iron or our cutting table in a different spot, and we can easily, with this board, move our project right over to the sewing machine so that we can stitch and not lose the orientation of our fabrics. Now, if you're looking for something a little bit larger for laying out your actual quilt or maybe auditioning borders, you can very easily create a design wall that's thin and flat and lightweight just with a piece of foam core board and a large piece of felt. So here we have wrapped a piece of felt around a foam core board. The felt stapled in place. I prefer using T-pins just because over time the felt stretches a little bit. So if you've got T-pins, you can easily pull them out and reposition the fabric. So you can easily make a design board like this that you could keep in a closet or under the bed. So when you're laying out all the blocks of your quilt, prop it up against a wall, and then you don't have to worry about working you know, on the carpet like I oftentimes do at home. So a really nice option for at home. I hope that you are enjoying the 3100 series of Love of Quilting. We sure love sharing tips with you. Come back and see me for another web extra again. Thank you.